Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am making today is, I'm making chicken soup, but I'm doing with what I have in the house. So, uh, cause my husband asked for it. So I'm like, well, I don't, can't make it proper because I don't have proper stuff, but I got some stuff. So let me show you what I do have over here. Don't mind her, she's not feeling good. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start off with, um, I have some chicken broth. It's gonna be a small pan. So I might be using, just use, I'll probably use all of this. Um, if I need more liquid, I have a half a box, different flavor of beef broth I'll be throwing in. For the vegetables, I have frozen mixed vegetables, frozen carrots, an onion. I have, I can throw, I'm gonna throw in two bell peppers. I got small cans of um, whole kale corn. And I got the chicken right here. Um, I got, I'm using half this box of baked, of Z, I keep calling them baked Z, half this box of ziti, because I'm going to use the other half for another recipe I got coming up with chicken. So this chicken is going to be split in half. I'm using, this is the onion mushroom soup mix, I'm throwing that in. Of course, garlic. And the seasonings that I'm putting on the chicken, um, I got to clean up my pan though. The seasoning I'm putting on my chicken is, of course, Dano's. A little bit of poultry seasoning. I have Italian seasoning, and I have oregano leaves. Which is this is not going on the chicken. These are going in the soup. This and this is going on the chicken with some garlic powder and onion powder. I got to grab off the shelf. So let me get this pan washed. Let me get the chicken seasoned in on the pan, and cut up the vegetables. Now I'm not going to cook them all the way through because I'm going to let it cook on the stove for a little bit. That way this can cook through on the stove. I'm gonna put this in a second pan. Let's go to the first step. Let me clean my pan, get the chicken seasoned in on the pan, do the rest of the dish, uh, chop up the onions and get ready to go. So we will be back. We are back. Now I'm gonna put in there is some olive oil. Okay on my hot medium and I'm gonna throw in I have two bell peppers and a red onion I cut them up all like weird so I'm gonna throw that in garlic's got to wait a little bit okay grab my spatula Let's stir this around a little and let this saute for a little while and let that saute on the meat in the meantime what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bowl of hot water I'm gonna stop my bowl. I'm gonna get this side ready. Oh, on high. And that's gonna be for the pasta. I already got the chicken all made up, all cooked, and I took it off already. That's what they look like. I just gotta chop, this is a big piece, so I'll probably select this and slice, slice these in half and chop up to give them more meat. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm going to let this saute down a little bit, get the noodles here so it's just ready to go. And then I will, after this is kind of sauteed down, because these are frozen, I'm just going to throw them in here um, when this gets a little hot and I can like saute it up, the seasonings and everything. So I will be back for that one. I'm about to shut that off. Okay, now I'm going to throw in... The frozen vegetables. I think I might keep this bag. That bag's a little bit big. So I'm gonna get the smaller can. Um, where are my, oh, 
getting a smaller can of the mixed vegetables because I got a bigger bag. I mean, it might be the same ounces, but I don't know. All right, you gotta make sure you drain the liquid if you have pan or frozen. Okay. And we'll put one can of corn in because it's already small. It's already kind of getting too much. But this will all like go down. It'll all shrink. So let that stir up. So yeah, I'm gonna put one can of corn in here. So I still gotta put the noodles in. So I'm gonna let that kind of die down a little bit. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna add one can. Drain the liquid. Best much as you can. One can of corn. Now we need the garlic. You can put much of the garlic in here. I'm putting like two. All right, I'm gonna stir this up. I'm gonna let this saute down a little bit more so they can shrink. And I'm gonna get my noodles in. Cause this has gotta shrink down. All right, I'm gonna salt and pepper. Where is my pepper? You know the weird part is about this, the surprise party I had? It's like everything has been moved. The trick I do, I use this every time now. Alright, baked ziti is going to go in. Now, half the box, you can use any type of uh, noodles you want. I hope this is recording. Yeah, good. So, I'm just going to use half of the box. Yeah, that's about half. That's a little more than half. Shit. It'll be fine. No, that's half the box. This isn't going inside here, but I need this to kind of dilute down a little bit. And this to go down a little bit. So I'm going to let these two cook and go down. And I'm going to clean up the counter for everything else the way that I'm not using. And we will be back. Okay, I'm going to pour the liquid inside of this. Because it's broken down. I still got the noodles cooking. That was kind of perfect. But I know once I add this into here, it's going to go down. So I got the other broth too. Um, I'm going to, so I'm going to stir this up. Actually, this is actually pretty good. I'm going to cut up, this could be a vegetable soup. <laughs> so I'm going to cut up the chicken, get that in here. I don't think all this is going to go in. So I'm going to probably save some of this for my next meal. Which that's like in a couple of days. So this will still be fine. I want that, I'm going to let that cook. Actually, I'm going to shut it off because I'm going to transfer it into here. Now I'm going to cut up my chicken. So I'll be back and me cut up my chicken. Okay. I had to um, put some chicken in the back pan because some of them were still raw. And I wanted to make sure these are all cooked through. This is actually pretty good. Now I got to get my seasonings in. Putting the onion and mushroom, wish I had mushrooms put in here, but I don't, in there. Got some Italian seasoning. All right, so I had it pulled up. Okay, Italian seasoning, little bit of Danos.
and some organo leaves, if I'm saying it right, yeah, organo. Like a small thing. All right, uh, one more I want to put in here is, where is it, where is it, where is it? There we go. I want to put some Daniel's Cheesney in here. Okay, let me stir this up. I don't know if you can see some of the raw pieces, but some are like really raw and I wanted to kind of get them cooked through. Like that piece right there, if you can see that, but that one's raw, so as I cut them up, I look. All right, I want to get some of that in here. Where is my spoon? That one did not go in there. I have a spoon here that has holes in it, but I'm trying to find it. That's a forever. Okay. I'm gonna probably put the lid on this afterwards. Let me get some more noodles in here though. I think this might be enough noodles. There's like a lot of shit in here. Is, is that cold or not? Yeah, you gotta heat it up. Okay. Joseph, can you stop? Why do you do this when I'm filming? Okay, then every time you're filming, I'm gonna go interrupt your stuff. All I'm saying is hi. I know, but you need to stop doing that. I can't say hi or what? After I'm done, maybe. Oh, shit. All right. I think that's good enough noodles. This other pan that's done. I'm gonna get a lid, and I'm gonna put a little bit more water in this though, because I know it's gonna. All right. I'm gonna put a little bit more, not water, beef broth in it. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put this on low and let this thing cook. So it's, oh shit. So it's on low, medium low, no, low. I'm gonna let it put on low, put a lid on it, let it cook. This I'm gonna put in a bowl with water, stick it in the fridge so it's ready for my next meal. We will be back when this is done for the plating. I have Joel's already put together for lunch tomorrow and there's Nikki and Dave's and I got mine right here. So this is all split it up. <coughs> I know the kids ain't gonna eat this, but I have enough just in case Joseph wants to try it or whatever. Jax won't eat it, I don't know why, but this is what I got. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.